Apple's M2 Extreme Mac Pro is coming and we just got perhaps the biggest leak and hint at when it is gonna be coming. This is the best solidified proof that we have from a very reliable source that matches up to other sources as well, including Mark Gurman, who I did interview that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So what I'm gonna cover are these new leaks, including the new PCI Express slot situation. And I'm also gonna talk about the new M2 Mac Mini and what else we should be seeing coming up in the Apple Silicon Mac space. So let's get right into it. Now I'm not gonna waste your time, let's jump right into the big leak that just happened. Yes, Apple's rumored to launch the 27 inch mini LED display, a new one, in the first quarter of 2023. That means between January and March of next year. Now this leak comes from Ross Young, who is extremely reliable in terms of Apple display leaks. He's nailed many things like the display size of the M2 MacBook Air, he nailed the iPad Mini 6, he nailed the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros with ProMotion and Mini LED, he got all of that correct. And because I am a super follower, yes I'm paying five bucks a month to Ross Young, I saw this new leak from him saying that he heard that the Apple Mini LED monitor launch was pushed to the first quarter of 2023. Yes, he literally just said that. So because of that, I replied to a tweet saying Mac Pro in the first quarter of 2023, which he actually liked my tweet. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> he liked it. However, he did clarify some information by replying to Ed Hardy saying, just to confirm, it's a 27 inch with mini LED and 5K. He said 27 inch mini LED, we know 5K was just a guess. So we know the 27 inch mini LED for sure. So essentially this new display is gonna be just like the 27 inch studio display, which has 5.5K resolution, except it's gonna come with mini LEDs. So it's gonna be an XDR display, and maybe it's even gonna have some extra features like maybe ProMotion 120 Hertz, which would be very, very difficult to do. So I kind of doubt that that's coming, but I do think it's gonna be a lot more expensive and definitely high end for those people who need the XDR 1600 nits brightness. Now these leaks started around a year ago and here in January 31st of 2022, he said that they no longer expect Apple's iMac Pro to launch in the spring. It looks more like summer and still with a mini LED backlight, but fewer zones than an iPad in MacBook display. However, then in March, he went on to say that instead of it actually being an iMac Pro, it's more likely that it's actually just a high-end display, 5K with 27-inch mini LEDs. And here's the kicker, Ross Young even said that it could launch in June alongside a new Mac Pro. Now that is very important. Of course, that didn't happen because he ended up delaying that in May. He ended up saying, nope, it's no longer happening in June. It's been delayed again until October because of a relocation of their suppliers. So it was looking more like an October release, which we are now in October and we're hearing nothing about that. And then of course we just got the new tweet saying that it's been pushed again, delayed until the first quarter of 2023. Now in terms of these leaks, I was actually talking to Mark Gurman, who is the number one most reliable Apple leaker out there. This is actually our video being shared on 9to5Mac. In an interview, he mentioned quite a few details about the new Mac Pro. He says that it's being delayed until next year, which could be as soon as the first quarter, January through March. And the crazy thing is, Ming Chu Kuo, who is also a very reliable Apple leaker, and he's well known for his reputation, he also last year in March said that the Mac Pro was being delayed until 2023, as well as the iMac Pro and the Mac Mini, which for the Mac Mini I actually disagree with that, but I do think the Mac Pro might not come until next year, just like Ross Young is implying, and just like Mark Gurman is saying. Now, Mark Gurman also gave us some information about the chip. He says that the M2 Ultra is headed into the next generation Mac Pro, as well as the M2 Extreme, which is basically double the specs of the Ultra, up to 48 cores for the CPU, 
160 core GPU, that is absolutely insane. Potentially 160 cores and 384 gigs of RAM. Those are some absolutely insane specs and I think they're gonna be up there with Nvidia's top of the line cards like the 4090 in terms of the GPU performance. But what's really special about the Mac Pro leaks is we actually have an exclusive anonymous source that posted to Mac Rumors forums and his name is Amethyst. Now check this out. The reason he's reliable is because way back on March 3rd, he actually leaked and said that there would be a new workstation class Mac called the Mac Studio. And of course, at Apple's March 8th event, five days later, they revealed the Mac Studio, which was basically exactly what he was saying it would be. Even right down to the low-end Mac display that would be an Apple 5K display, looking kind of similar to the Apple Pro Display XDR, which those details were correct, so he got that right. But then he came back in July with some brand new details about the Apple Silicon Mac Pro. And you might be wondering, how did he get this information? Well, he has a friend that actually has access to the prototype Mac machines, which they likely have some kind of software company that Apple made a partnership with them to test it out and show it off in their marketing. So he has a friend where he got these leaks from. So let's go through the details. It's gonna have a total of 40 CPU cores, 32 performance cores and eight efficiency cores, which is exactly what Mark Gurman was saying. And the interesting thing is that he said there's a sample board that contains a PCI Express slot, but at the time when he was testing it, it was not working. However, he did add the detail that it was just a prototype board, and he believed that the production unit may include more than just the single PCI Express slot, which of course makes the most sense. But the confirmation here is that Apple was testing the new Mac Pro with an Apple Silicon chip and PCI Express slots at the same time, which is very good news for modularity. Now, the interesting thing is that he just came back in August with some details about the M2 Mac Mini, which make complete sense and match up to some other leakers. First of all, he said he just got some info about the new Mac Mini. It's gonna have the same design, basically the same parts, just a change in the SOC slash threads. That is a very, very interesting detail to add because if you match that up to some information that we got in my interview with Mark Gurman, Mark Gurman said that the Mac Mini redesign is unlikely. So there's no redesign, it's gonna have the same chassis and that makes the most sense because you're gonna be able to put a regular M2 chip, which has been leaked, and the M2 Pro chip, which Mark Gurman in August also said, Mac Mini with M2 and M2 Pro chips still in the works and that perfectly matches up with what Amethyst said, that it's gonna change the SOC and the threads, which of course the threads means that there needs to be two separate chip options in that Mac Mini, which is exactly what Mark Gurman was saying. And I believe, I fully believe that it's coming either later this month or potentially next month. I think that makes the most sense for this new machine to come out. And the reason I believe that is because Way back in February, we had three new Mac regulatory filing numbers. And the crazy thing is that one of them was the Mac Studio, which we of course got in March. The other one was the laptop, which was the M2 MacBook Air redesign. And the third one, we still have not seen it. And I fully believe that the third one is the new M2 Mac Mini machine. And then of course we also got some details from both Mark Gurman and Digitimes who believe that the new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros are launching later this year, which I think they're most likely happening this month. Of course, for a long time, I thought they were gonna get delayed until next year in March because they would come with three nanometer chips. But now I think with everything going on in the world with inflation and everything else, I think it makes sense for Apple to simply take the easy and cheap route and just launch it this year with a lackluster chip. This is not gonna be a worthwhile upgrade for anybody that already has the 14 or 16 inch MacBook Pro. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal, but I think the way Apple's gonna market this is by marketing the M2 Pro and M2 Max chips as 
new four nanometer chips. So instead of five nanometer, they're four nanometer, which is basically a small improvement compared to the five nanometer chips that we've already have, but it's all about marketing. So I think this month, potentially we're gonna have the new Mac mini with the M2 Pro and regular M2 chip. We're gonna have the new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros with the M2 Pro and M2 Max chips. And we may even see an announcement, maybe even next month at a potential November event, of that new Mac Pro, and then that would mean it would start shipping potentially in January, or Apple is just literally gonna wait until March of next year to have their March event where they release the new Apple Silicon Mac Pro with that new display which was leaked. I think it only makes sense for Apple to launch this new display if it's coming alongside a new Mac. And since the Mac Mini is coming, this year, potentially this month, I think the only Mac that this very high-end, expensive XDR display could launch with is the Mac Pro. And that is why I fully believe that Ross Young got it right. This display is launching alongside the Mac Pro in the first quarter of 2023. So if you completely disagree with me, let me know down in the comment section below. But if you enjoyed the video, click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one and check one out right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.